Hello my friends, uh, welcome, this is Market Commentary with Axiori and I start with Japanese Yen because uh, I think that the most uh, important and um, the best movements uh, for uh, traders uh, right now are happening on Japanese Yen uh, which is weakening of course uh, and we mentioned that uh, last week in our videos uh, and uh, most recently we had new comments uh, from uh, Mr. Suzuki, uh, finance minister um, of uh, Japan. Uh, he said that the government is closely watching currency moves, including the recent uh, yen weakening and its uh, impact on Japanese economy with a sense of urgency. Um, was that uh, uh, some kind of intervention? Not really, but uh, we are seeing that more and more uh, Japanese officials are closely watching uh, the yen uh, because of this um, recent uh, weakening, which started precisely at the beginning of uh, the year. You can see here huge uh, switch. Uh, yen was getting stronger since 2017 against American dollar and uh, it's getting weaker against the dollar uh, since the beginning of the year and during uh, since the beginning of 2021 of course not 2022 and in those uh, this year and uh, four uh, months you can see that we removed all the drop uh, since 2015 uh, so uh, huge huge movement uh, from the technical point of view this is an investment and shoulder formation a breakout of the neckline will bring more suffering uh, here I mean um, yen uh, after uh, the breakout here uh, should be even uh, weaker than it is now uh, we're gonna stay uh, in the Pacific area uh, let's say and from Japan we are moving to New Zealand uh, because tomorrow we will have interest uh, rate uh, decision and uh, we are expecting uh, the rise uh, rise of 25 basis points but some experts uh, are expecting the rise um, of um, uh, 50 basis points uh, so the consensus is to rise 25 uh, but um, and this is largely expected and uh, it's already in, in price mm, uh, but rise of uh, 50 basis points would be uh, kind of uh, a surprise and can be a very positive sign uh, for New Zealand dollar uh, here you can see New Zealand dollar to American dollar uh, which is having actually a sell signal uh, so if uh, one is thinking about uh, helping New Zealand dollar. I think that rise of 50 basis points would be uh, would do that. Uh, from the technical point of view, you can see investment and shoulder formation here, a breakout of the neckline that should be positive. But uh, buyers did not uh, they uh, did not manage to hold above uh, the neckline that the price went below also we broke midterm up trend line so that, that's a false breakout this orange uh, line and uh, that's a breakout of the midterm up trend line so in consequence we have those two factors which bring us a uh, sell uh, signal so rise of 25 basis points i think it will not change uh, much uh, but a rise of 50 basis points uh, that would be a positive uh, signal uh, sign for uh, New Zealand uh, dollar. Thanks very much for watching and all the best in your trading.